You're gonna need one menu or two? Two. Oh, you're waiting for Jody, huh? Uh-huh. You know something? It's, it's mind-blowing, all this stuff that's been happening to her. It's awful, such a nice kid. How's she been holding up? For what she's been through, she's holding up very well. Much better than I am. This whole thing has worried the hell out of me. Just who? Who did those crazy kids think Jody was? I mean, the stories I read in the newspaper and here on television don't really explain why she was kidnapped. We don't really know for sure yet, Sally. Could have been that uh, she resembled somebody else. Yeah, I heard about that mistaken identity. We may find out more once this guy Pietro is caught. You mean he's still on the loose? Yes. <sighs> well, it's all. <sighs> anyway, I do feel bad about that girl getting killed. I mean, she was so young, just a kid. Yeah, but they were playing grown-up games, Sid. Hi. Hi, Jody. How you doing? Okay, Sid. You sure? Sure. Uh, can I have some coffee? Right. Okay. You want to tell me something about your mysterious behavior? What do you mean? Well, for one thing, where have you been? Oh, I just uh, had some errands to run, that's all. Come on, Jody. You said to me that you were going to the studio to sit for your portrait. You didn't do that. Now, where the hell have you been? I want to know what's going on. Here you go. Uh, thank you. It's okay. Um. Okay. But you have to promise me two things. First, that you won't tell anybody what I'm about to tell you. And second, that you won't get mad when I do. That's a lot to promise. Okay, shoot. I went to see Pietro. You did what? Shh. Why are you... Shh. You promised, okay? You better explain this, baby. I got a phone call from Pietro asking me to meet him. To meet him? Where? Oh, don't ask me that. I can't tell you. You mean you won't? You're telling me that you went to go see this guy of your own free will, in your own right mind, a guy who's wanted by the police? Incredible! Now will you listen to me, please? He says there's a way we can help him and his country without going there. Oh, he's up to this again, huh? Well, just how does he propose that you help him without leaving the country? There's going to be a festival, a medieval pageant, celebrating the 300th anniversary of the founding of Eden. It's being held in Graham County. That's not far from Monticello. Sit there, use your fingers. You are getting to be some space cadet. Here is a little calculator right on your desk. I know. So why don't you use it? Because I'm not going to let that little thing intimidate me. Look, it's very simple. You see, you put on the on button over here like that. See the little light goes on? Now, just say hypothetically you want to add 13 and 21. You press 1 and 3 and the plus sign, then 2 and 1 and the equal sign, and you get 55. See? Wait a minute. 13 and 21 is 34, isn't it? Yeah, um, I, uh, I must have pressed the wrong button, so. <laughs> You see, you push the wrong button, you get the wrong answer. My fingers work better than that thing. All right, don't get smart. Don't you figure it out. It's not that hard. Uh, Troy and I are gonna go to have a little dinner. We'll see you later, huh? Okay, uh, I'm starving myself. What do I do about that? I'll tell you the truth, Poppy, you're getting a little fat. Why don't you skip dinner? I'll see you later. Hey, 
I disturbing anything? Damien, this is getting to be a habit. I told you not to come here anymore. Hey, wait a minute. I just wanted to come by and ask you if you were interested in dinner. No, th that's not a good idea. No, no, what if... What if what? Hey, a girl has to stay healthy. I found a nice, quiet, lovely place that I think you will really enjoy. What do you say? Am I getting fat? What? No, just in the right places. <laughs> you said the right thing. <laughs> okay, then. Yes. All right. Let's go. Just a minute. Who is it? Hi. Am I interrupting your dinner? You certainly are. I'm sorry. I know I should have called. Naturally, you wouldn't because you know I wouldn't see you or talk to you. It's a lot easier to slam the phone down on somebody than it is to slam a door in their face, isn't it? Calvin, I would just like to eat my dinner in peace Dee Dee, alone. Please. Calvin, how much clearer can I make it? I don't want to talk to you. You've got to. I have never had anything to tell you that's this important. Calvin, nothing you could say to me could be of the slightest importance. This is Dee, Dee. Then bring me a note from your wife saying it's all right. Star is not here. She went back to New York. So that's it. Well, what happened this time? May I come in? You're in. Didi Starr didn't come home to stay. She came home to tell me something important, something important about the baby. What, it isn't yours? It isn't yours. I'm sorry. Now, that's why she uh, didn't want to tell me about the pregnancy. The fact of the matter is that our separation just proved that our marriage couldn't take it. We made a mistake. Anyway, she's in love with this guy who directed the play. She's going to have his baby. I see. So now that you know the baby isn't yours, that changes everything, right? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. And you think you can just come over here and start all over again with me, just as though nothing had ever happened? Wait a minute, Peter, oh. you're making this sound like like. Calvin, I'm... don't you understand? It's not that simple. Wait a minute, I never look. You're the one who's 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 saying it's it's simple, like it's some some easy snap judgment. I... It took an awful lot for me to knock on that door, Dee Dee, and I didn't come all the way over here to fight with you. I didn't ask you to come over here. You, you know what I think? I think this is this is about something else. I mean, this is not just outrage about this situation, is it? Are you mad with me still about what happened between your brother and I? Oh, wait a second, Calvin. Don't try to confuse the issue with Troy. Troy has nothing to do with this as far as I'm concerned. Although maybe he does as far as you're concerned. Meaning what? Well, just maybe you were feeling a little guilty about us. So you thought you could make the break complete by hassling Troy. Oh, come on, Dee Dee. You, you know that's not true. I love you. Well, Kevin, I don't love you. Don't look so injured. That's what you wanted. You told me once that I'd be better off if I stopped loving you. So I have. I have. Just go, Calvin. Please. Honey, you gonna get that? I've got it. Chief Mallory, what are you doing here? What do you mean? Mr. D.A., you invited me to dinner. I did? For tonight? Well, in that case, uh, come on in. Yes, for tonight. How could you forget such a distinguished guest as me? Right. Your visits here are so rare. How could I forget? <sighs> You're incorrigible. Where's your wife? 
in the kitchen, slating over your favorite dish. Uh, not mine, mind you. Yours. Would you like a drink? I thought you'd never ask. Vodka tonic. Okay. Eric, how lovely to see you here. Mm. Mm. Well, thank you for inviting me. Don't you look lovely? How dare you address my wife in that familiar fashion? <laughs> she should hear from somebody. Oh. Well, it's wonderful to hear you in such good spirits. Sit down there. Mm. I noticed that, too. It's great to see you out of the doldrums, my friend. I suppose I am feeling a bit more human these days. Then, uh, here's to your good spirits. May they last forever. And a little longer. Hmm? <laughs> well, maybe it's because your prediction has come true. That the pain of Jinx's death has finally started to ease. I can talk about my loss without breaking up, and I think I've found that work is not the only design for living. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Sounds like you found a sympathetic ear. Ah, uh, you might say that. It's the last ear in the world I thought I'd be bending. How come? Yeah, you're gonna think I'm crazy when I tell you this. I've been talking to Raven. Raven? Whitney? Alexander, she's using her maiden name again. Her recent loss, I think, has prompted her to seek out mm, some comfort somewhere. And why not pick me? I've had a similar loss just recently. Yes, I suppose that could give you both some common ground. Of course, uh, Raven has suffered other losses, too. Her name and her fortune. Not that she didn't deserve it. I can feel it from you, too, that uh, you think I have taken complete leave of my senses, especially after what experiences I've had with her. Derek, Derek, it's how you feel about her that's important. I mean, if she was helpful to you, well, then by all means, that was fine. Well, she has been helpful to me. It's been a good experience to, to visit with her. It's been very helpful talking about it, especially because, well, because she was Jinx's victim. You mean when Jinx was involved in that scam? Yes. She's very nice about that, too. She made it a point to tell me that she doesn't hold anything against Jinx. Really, this isn't the raven that I used to know. Frankly, I've always thought uh, Raven was made of the kind of steel that rarely changes. <sighs> All right, then let me assure you both that I'm not about to get involved. I made a vow, never again. Okay, if you're feeling that sociable, are you going to go to the party at the Whitney house? Party? Yeah, am I invited? <laughs> I'm sure you will be. Uh, Mr. Whitney's throwing a gala party uh, to which we were invited by uh, his housekeeper, Miss Fulton. She mentioned that you were on the guest list, too. Well, all right, why not? I love mingling with the uh, upper crust. Stay on. Honey, I am trying to. Honestly, I am. But the whole thing seems so far out. This character, P.H., who wants you to attend some sort of medieval pageant taking place somewhere near Monticello to celebrate a 300th anniversary doesn't mean a thing to you. It might mean something to them. Oh, because you're her descendant, the famous martyr of Eden? You're not going to go through this, are you? I don't know. I'll find out more about what I'm doing when I hear from Pietro again. When you hear from Pietro, hope you never hear from him again. The dumbest thing you could do is trust a crazy man who kidnapped you, held you forcibly for 48 hours, and came close to smuggling you out of the country against your will. Doesn't all that say something to you? It tells me that you're losing your mind. Kevin, don't be ridiculous. I want I'm you not... to stay away from him and everything that has anything to do with Eden. Oh, and of course, because you tell me to do it, I must do it, right? Jordy, I am not trying to boss you around. I am talking to you as someone who loves you and is very worried about you. Don't you see the difference? No, I'm not sure I do. Oh, you're a stubborn kid. And stop calling me a kid. I've outgrown my dolls, Gavin, and I am quite capable of making my own decisions. And don't you forget it. Well, hello, folks. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Why don't you join us? Uh... No, I don't think either of you really need my... No, company. please, sit down with us. And give us a chance to change the subject. You know, this really is a cute place. Great, I was hoping you'd enjoy it. But you're changing the subject. What was the subject? Well, we were talking about this bodyguard who follows Eddie Lorimer around. He's a new guy, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Why are you so interested? There's nothing very unusual about a bodyguard. Well, that depends upon the body. Mm. Well, I read an article about that recently, and it said that all kinds of people use them. Big executives, movie stars, you know, people like that. Maybe. 
But you know, gangsters need bodyguards more than anybody else because they have a tendency to make a lot of enemies. And don't policemen. <laughs> That's a good point. I know one thing for sure. I hope I never make an enemy of you, Bobby. Well, I don't expect I'll ever be your enemy, Damien. But on the other hand, I... Uh, I don't think that it's a good thing to be much more than... than an acquaintance. That's a rotten thing to say. I'm saying it for your own good. Look, you know that I like you. I mean, I've never tried very successfully to hide that. But you and me, it's just no good. You want me to be something that I'm not, that I can't ever be. Wait a minute, what are you trying to tell me anyway? The same thing that I've been saying ever since... Hey there, partner. Oh, what a surprise. Loomis. I thought I was the only one in the force who knew where this place was. Yeah. Now, uh, Lieutenant Loomis, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Poppy Johnson. How do you do, I'm sure. Yes, uh, a pleasure, Miss uh, Johnson. Mm -hmm. Well, Tyler, obviously your good taste is not restricted to restaurants. Well, thank you. You dine here often, Loomis? Every chance I get. Well, I'll leave you uh, folks to it. A pleasure, Miss uh, Johnson. Likewise. See you later, Tyler. Ah, it's been great. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to hedge around with me. What's going on? Damien, that guy, Loomis, he... What? I just don't like him much. As a matter of fact, I don't like him a lot. Why, because of that remark he made about you? Hey, come on, it's true. I am doing really well for myself. Look, that was just a little male vanity coming out. Whatever. There's something sneaky about that guy. I got bad vibes, and I'm never wrong. I think you ought to keep your distance from him. I'm afraid that's not possible. Loomis and I are, uh, well, we're working on a little project together at headquarters. This table all right, Mr. Larman? Yeah, it's fine. It's my favorite table. So, how's it going, Sweet Tooth? Fine, just fine. Business is real good. I wasn't exactly talking about business. I was uh, thinking more of uh, the personal side. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, I've been meaning to ask you a very, very important question. Ask. Uh, are you married, uh, engaged, or uh, sharing a bungalow with somebody, maybe? <laughs> At one time or another, all three. What about now? Why do you want to know? Well, tell me the truth. See, I've been thinking it would be a terrific idea if one night you and I got together, went to one of my famous little French restaurants. This way you can get a real good idea of just how good your food is over here. I already know. Can I get you gentlemen a drink? Yeah, I'll take the usual. Usual what? Bourbon. Two, maybe two. Two bourbons. You got it. <clears throat> That's the man. Uh, what are you worried about? The guy's absolutely harmless. Forget about it. Don't think about it. Yeah, but he makes me nervous just being here. And what about the gun wrap? Hey, don't worry about that. I told you, I got a hot shot lawyer. He can take care of everything. This guy's got more connections than the Alaskan pipeline. Will you just relax? Yeah, but my sister's a hot shot. The yeah. court says she can't defend me. You don't want to use her. Forget about her already, will you? Where's my cigarettes? I forgot my cigarettes in the car. I forgot my... No, look, look, I'll get them for you. Not glad to. All right, thanks a lot, kid. I appreciate it. <clears throat> well, well, it isn't the fuzz. And how are you, Mr. Stoner? Just fine, Mr. Bannister. Seems to me you aren't being very selective about your dinner companions, are you? You know, I can handle it. Oh, yeah, yeah, an, an officer. You know, I understand that you're married. How's your wife? Listen to me, you mind your manners, kid, especially when it comes to talking with your betters. Excuse me. Hold it, Troy. Hey, what? Hey. I, uh, want to talk to you about what you got under your coat. Yeah, do you have a piece of paper known as a search warrant? Look, I, uh... Pulled you in once already for carrying concealed weapon. And now I find you in violation again. Now I'm trying to be nice about this, at least 
for your sister, sir. So I won't arrest you if you just give me the papers, all right? Why don't you take it from me? Come on. Here you go. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. What happened to your friend? I don't know. I uh, sent him out to the parking lot to get something out of the car. He ain't back yet. You know, I think I better go and check and see what's going on. Excuse me a second, will you? I was trying to get that gun. What the hell are you talking about? What gun?